Welcome to the Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fast and fun recipe, I'm going to show you how to make two ingredient chocolate fudge. I have 450 grams of semi-sweet chocolate chips. This is equal to two and a half cups. And the second ingredient in our recipe today, a 300 milliliter can of sweetened condensed milk. This is equal to 10 ounces. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. For our first step, in a large pot, I have a little bit of hot water. I'm gonna place a heat proof glass bowl on top. I'll get all of my chocolate chips right into the bowl. And then directly on top, all of our sweetened condensed milk. So just use a spatula to get everything out of your little tin. You can also add a little bit of vanilla if you wished maybe a teaspoon or two teaspoons and also walnuts which go really well in fudge okay that's good so at this point we want the hot water in our pot to start heating the glass bowl which is going to start melting our chocolate and also the sweetened condensed milk so just let this go for a good five minutes or so I'll come back and then we're going to give it a little stir so this is about five minutes later and you can see not everything's totally melted but some of that chocolate is so I just want to start getting it all mixed around. This is a really simple recipe because you don't have to be standing over it. You can be doing something else while this is slowly melting down. And I'm just going to give it a little stir to get some of that heat moved around throughout the mixture. But you can see that it's starting to really come together now. Oh, that is nice. That's almost ready. I'd say another five minutes or so and we're going to be ready to just pour this right into our pan. So I'm just going to let it go another five minutes or so and then I'll come back. So this is about five minutes later and this is now ready to go into our pan. Look at how nice this looks. Fully melted at this point. You could just get in there with a spoon and start eating this. This is so good. Okay, so I'm just going to get set up and I'll be back in one second. What I'm using today is a nine inch square baking pan lined with some parchment paper. And we'll just get all of our fudge right in there. You don't want to wait too long because the fudge will start setting up. So just get everything out of your bowl. That's good. Then, just start getting it into the corners. And as I said earlier, if you want to add anything else to this, you can. You could have added in some nice walnuts or pecans if you wished. You can sprinkle the top as well with some nice sea salt. I'm not going to do any of that today. I think this is just nice and simple. And I omitted the vanilla extract because I do get a lot of people who they ask me in a lot of my recipes if they can omit the vanilla because it's hard for them to find it in their country. So I thought I would just go very, very simple. But if you do want to add vanilla, one or two teaspoons maximum, that's five to 10 milliliters. And that looks perfect. All you have to do now is put this into your fridge for about an hour or two, and that's it. Bring it out, cut it up, and enjoy. I'll pop it into the fridge, and we'll come back a little later on when it's cold. So here we are again, this is one hour later, and my fudge has completely firmed up. I checked it around 40 minutes and it was already solid so you don't have to wait a full hour before you pull it out of the fridge and cut it up. The only thing that I've done is I've taken a little pallet knife and I just went around the edges just to break it away from the actual baking tin. So you'll just want to go around and just get it in between the fudge and your baking tin. Another solution is to take another piece of parchment paper and wrap it this way and then the thing will just come out really easily like that as well. We'll remove our little clips 
And then, you can see how nicely that just comes right out like that. So we'll get rid of this. Get ourselves a cutting board. Get that on here. Now let's cut into it. Any size, any shape, doesn't matter. They all taste the same. And also the size of the baking dish could have been smaller. You can make it smaller if you want to have your fudge a little bit higher. But this is nice. I like it like this because this is extremely sweet. You don't need a lot of it. And then just slice it up. And there we have it. Let me just zoom in. Now that I've zoomed in, hopefully you can see this a lot closer up and I'm just going to take a little slice off of here. Look at that. Mm. That just melts in your mouth. So there we have it. A really fast video for today. Two ingredient fudge. You can't get more simple than this. Like I said, if you want to add anything to this, you could add a little bit of salt on the top before it sets. You can also add walnuts, which is always a great addition to any type of fudge or brownies. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. If you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Yeah, that's really good. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. On the screen now, you can choose a video to watch or you can also click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you once again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it.